Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's Mickey Indigo here with another one. You already know if you're new here, go ahead and like and subscribe if you want. If not, fuck off. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, bro. Just sit back and relax. I'm in my feelings, bro. I'm in my emotions, man. I'm in my emotions. Over the weekend, I got permaban from GME subreddit. Yeah. I mean, they were able to reverse it. After I told them if my 20,000 followers would agree whether or not I should be permabanned, they kind of went back on that pretty quickly. <laughs> but, um, yeah, they were basically trying to tell me that uh, I was angling my questions to computer shared to make things look worse than they are. Dude, I'm just concerned where to put my money. What the fuck, bro? And yo, what does it even matter? Like, if I ask questions, I told him, yo, I was, I'm not gonna post it. I'm not gonna post this conversation, bro. I usually post conversation. I'm not doing it. But you know, I was basically saying, yo, this is starting to look a lot like uh, Nazi Germany. We are not allowed to question things. Since I've been on Super Stock, since we've been seeing this whole purple uh, circle thing, it's been harder and harder to find more and more DD. Um, I don't know what's going on, bro. Uh, I'm getting a weird vibe. I'm getting a super weird vibe. If you look at the Elliot's Waves guy, I mean, if you guys have been following Super Stock for quite a while, look at the Elliot's Waves guy. He got banned from Super Stonk. Well, I'm here to say this. Super Stonk, they can never ban me. They could never ban me. You know why? You know why they can't ban me? Because I don't got enough karma to even post there. So, uh... <laughs> oh, man. But, uh, yo, this is kind of weird. Things are looking very sus, bro. Things are looking so weird. Look at the, uh, over the weekend, the whole Bank of America shutdown was trending. And it, apparently they closed like a good portion of the, bran uh, the branches shut down in a stealth way. Like no one really gave them any advance notice or nothing. Apps weren't working for a certain amount of time. Uh, they weren't answering the 1-800 number. Some people were trying to pay their mortgage and they couldn't. I mean, if what they're saying on Twitter is true, I don't know, who knows, right? Some weird stuff is going on, man. You know, I mean, look, I'm not a financial advisor, you know what I'm saying? This is my opinion, but if I bank with Bank of America, I'd be a little scared. You look at what happened with Facebook being down today. Ironically, the day after the 60-minute interview of the whistleblower talking about how they had a helping hand and profited off the organization of hate groups. And blah, 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 blah. Well, that's a quinky dink. Wouldn't you say? That's not GME related. Let's not even talk about that. Let's not even talk about that. Let's talk about the news. Like I said, there's not been a lot that I really want to cover right now. Because from what I'm looking at, bro... Like, good information is being drowned out. And there's a DD about Bank of America that I saw. We'll see. I want to do a little bit more research on that before I even feature that. But if you do look back, look at DFV. He had a uh, baby driver GIF. And above the Bank of America ATM, there was a GME thing. Yo, does this dude, like, have a... Time traveling machine or something? D fucking value, bro. More power to you, brother. You're very forward thinking. Look at Walter Bloomberg, what he said. He says, uh, Biden says in the days ahead, people may see their retirement account values sink and interest rates go up. Extremely dangerous. Things are looking very scary right now. And uh, let's not forget, shout out to Adobit. Um, posting a little DD discussion, um, talks about how uh, Citadel is up to 61 violations, um, totaling to a whopping $7,500 fine. Woo! 
Breaking the bank with that one. But let's look at the tickers. Yesterday's close was 176.91. And today's close was 171.36. Taking a little over a 3% drop on the day. Look at AMC. Yesterday's close was $38.40. Six cents, and uh, you know, right now we're at $36.77. That's a 4.39% drop on the day. I'm gonna end on this note Kenny, Kenny G had some uh, Bloomberg interviews today, and yo, like his wife, or maybe someone else's wife, I don't know, bro, I don't judge. Um, but wife seems to be on this dude's head. <laughs> So check out these clips from these Ferodian slips. I mean, with assault wife and weapons. I mean, on Michigan Avenue with assault wife and weapons. More involved in politics over the years because I'm trying to protect the American dream. I'm trying to protect the opportunity that everyone in this country should have to have a great life, a great education, and to have a life, a life well lived. As you, as you may imagine, folks, Ken and I are going to, as you may imagine, folks, Ken, as you, as you may imagine, folks. Ken Anyways, guys, it was uh, an insanely short day, uh, you know, when it came to the news. It's all good, though. I'm still Diamond Ann, and are you? Are you? Uh, I finally started making a Patreon. Nowhere near ready. But I've created an account. Um, and uh, yeah. If you look at the Rich Dad Poor Dad author. His name is Kiyosaki. He's basically uh, saying that we're facing the biggest ever economic disaster this month. And that it'll bring down Bitcoin, stocks, and real estate alike. Um, let's see if he's right. He has a couple weeks to see if that's going to hold true. Uh, but if that's the case, guys, hold on to your ass, man. Because even if we drop, there's no guarantee that, you know, um, GME is not going to drop with the market. But we do have a negative beta. So that means that it's going to be the first to rebound. So, guys, this is where it all comes from. Diamond handing. This is what I'm doing. I'm not telling you what to do with your money. That's all your business. You worked for that. Or maybe you did it. I don't know. I don't care. But, uh, yo, I will see you all on Wednesday. I'm Mickey in the go, and uh, that's a riggedy, riggedy rap.